Culture of Solidarity is a two and a half year investigation, a cultural investigation into the root causes of uh, fragmentation in Europe. And through participatory action research, uh, we look into what, on a micro level, what culture can contribute to more solidarity in Europe. Uh, we discuss that and come up with solutions to tackle solidarity. And we end uh, with uh, funding uh, ideas to improve the solidarity in Europe. I think um, it's important to meet uh, uh, other people from uh, other countries with others' experience and uh, meeting together, working together, speaking about experience, about emotion, being together. I'm an artist performer um, doing uh, particularly uh, participative performances, artistic, in uh, public space and also in different type of uh, spaces with different type of publics also. Most important part of my job is to, to, to give the possibility to people to explain their, themselves and um, and to share a moment together of uh, peace and solidarity. Yeah. Estos dibujos están pintados con pinceles porque lo hemos hecho en grupo y están, están hechos con música. En esta sesión consiste en descubrir los lugares de origen de cada profesor y profesora. La sesión consiste en que nos dan tres cómics, elegimos uno y luego en los bocadillos escribimos nuestras historias para luego recortarlos y hacer el cómic exquisito. I think once you start doing culture with people rather than culture for an audience. Uh, you can involve people in social issues uh, that affect them and culture gets the role of providing a space, a space for experiment, a space for negotiation, but also a social glue of bringing unusual groups of people together. And what we see in Europe now is a lot of fragmentation. And you see on this micro level of cultural practices that you can bring uh, people together uh, from very different backgrounds and from very different perspectives and actually engage them in a conversation. And if we would be able to do uh, that on a European level or an interlocal level, this could contribute to more uh, a democracy that is really driven by the citizens of Europe. I work for Frida, the Young Feminist Fund, which supports young feminist activism across the world. And uh, we do that through participatory grant making and different ways of um, involvement of young feminist activists and how we create our strategies, uh, in what different ways we can support beyond resources and um, how to better support movements in general. I think this type of gatherings are really important because they bring different movements from different contexts together and sometimes we tend to work in silos and this is a, a way to introduce different ways to organize to each other. This is a way to introduce cross movement, um, collaboration uh, and uh, I feel this is really important as we can learn from each other 
and have a more holistic approach in our activism. And for me personally, I, I feel less alone in the work that, um, that I'm doing and also somehow our struggles are very connected. So having this like cross-movement connection, it's, it's really important. Exchanges like these are extremely important uh, for people who are involved with the culture to elevate themselves. Me, for example, to meet other people from other countries, to cross-platform and to feed on those ideas. Different influences, uh, different knowledge, uh, networking, and for example, the things that we have created in these two days here is something that I have never thought of or created anything similar to that ever in my life. So this is an experience that you're gonna bring home uh, and this is the experience that's going to probably influence the future uh, in endeavors that I'm going to be a part of. Precisely what uh, me, but also an environment of people I collaborate with since many, many years. This is precisely what we are trying to understand: how to, uh, how to, um, or one one part of our activities is dedicated to the question: how to politically transform reality with the tools of artistic intervention. I'm coming from the collective that was very active in uh, cultural sphere, but also um, like using culture to address different topics that are leading to some kind of social or political uh, change. Um, so the, the space that I run at Tay Modern, it, it's not a gallery. So we have floors and floors of galleries of places where one artist is um, you know, their work is on a wall or it's a sculpture and their voice is privileged um, above everybody else's and their, you know, their, 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 their value is placed on their position and the way that they live on the world. And, and, our, and our floor, the, the program that I run, it's really about that kind of multiplicity of voices and finding space for, for, for the collision of ideas and ways of living in the world. I think Europe has to learn a lot and unlearn a lot at the same time. One important thing is that there's not one face of Europe and that it's not white and heteronormative. Uh, there are so many different uh, backgrounds within um, Europe and Europe has to unlearn the colonial practices that have been existing for, for centuries to be able to um, change. These kind of projects are very important. Uh, above everything, first you're meeting other people and you're realizing that we're kind of the same. Eh? You're, we're living the same life day to day. Uh, we have the same needs, uh, we have the same desires and we strive for the same thing. So this is, there's this sense of togetherness. Democracy is more than voting once in four years. I think it's really important that citizens get engaged in issues that uh, affect them or affect others around them. Uh, so it's necessary to uh, think beyond representation and actually get into uh, uh, participation of uh, citizens. Uh, and culture is a way to involve people in these issues uh, because culture functions as a space for experiment, but also a space to negotiate uh, how to live together and how to shape uh, society and imagination is something we need when we build better democracy.